They met while working together on the classic 90s horror flick and were married years later. Ahead of the release of the fifth film, David Arquette recalled how late director Wes Craven, who died of a brain tumor in 2015, had a real impact on his relationship with Courtney Cox. David, who stars as Dewey Riley, fell in love on screen with Courtney, who took on the Gail Weathers role, thanks to Craven carving out a romance for the characters. Wes had a real impact, Arquette told People. He was called like, David, you know she likes you and you should really get your stuff together. He gave me a real man-to-man -man talk and that had an impact on the course of my life. Arquette and Cox were married in 1999, nearly two years after the first Scream movie was released and welcomed a daughter, Coco, in 2004. In October 2010, they announced their separation, and finalized a divorce in 2013. They're excited to work together again on familiar roles with friends. I was just really excited to play a character that was really, I guess, bitchy and over the top and yet grounded in some ways, Cox said. Because Monica's so sweet. Arquette remembered being excited to first meet Courtney decades ago when filming began. I was a fan of hers, he admitted before adding of the rest of the cast, everybody was really nice, so it was a great time. He first auditioned for the part of Billy Loomis, but felt better suited for Dewey, who would go on to be Sheriff of Westboro, California after Ghostface terrorized the community. I was like, I think he'd be better for Dewey. And I brought that up to Wes and he was like, whoa, that's very interesting, Arquette said. And thank goodness he had an open mind about it. I love still playing this guy and fans still love him. Nev Campbell needed a little more reassurance to join the fifth film and told Entertainment Weekly in October that she was hesitant to work without the late director. I genuinely was in two minds, Campbell said. The idea of making these films without Wes Craven seemed challenging to me. I loved the man very much. But Matt, Betty Nethy Alpen, and Tyler, Gillett, wrote me a letter, speaking of their appreciation and great respect for Wes Craven, and speaking of the fact that the very reason that they are directors today was because of these movies and because of Wes, and that meant a great deal to me.